Hey everyone, happy Saturday to you. Uh, we didn't get out to go check out some camping spots out in the forest the other day. So we're going right now. Hi, Monk. What? So we're going now, aren't we? Yep, we're going now. Because we didn't go the other day. So we're going now. We're going to go check out some camera spot or camera <laughs> camping spots. We're going to go take a ride in the forest. We're going to get something to eat. Be back with you. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we're out here in the forest. The only camp campsites we're finding is the ones you pay for. Right now? Yeah. And 90% of them are closed. We did find a decent one. And uh, we're up here by Holder Mine Campground, which is right back that way. And, uh, but, uh, we can't get in there to look at it. There was another one. You can't get in there to look at it. Yeah, they got the gates all locked. They got the gates locked, so you can't get in and see if you like the camp camp areas. You have to res reserve it first before you can get in there and go try to find a campsite that you may or may not like. So I, I, I don't like that. But the other one, it's called Tellus Hill, right? Yeah. Campground. It was nice, but it's you know more like it, it's it's campground you, you got electric and you got water which is okay it's only $25 a night though but they're very nice uh, campgrounds now they have a a couple outside the gate that stay there and um, they um, they let us drive back through there you said the gates unlocked go go see go see the campgrounds and they're only running they're not running full capacity too but which is understandable but I'm wanting to find some place that we can just camp, you know. And so we just pulled over here, checked some things out. Just kind of walked around in the woods for a minute, so. We seen a truck pull out of here with a trailer with a whole bunch of wood on it. So I don't know what was going on there. But no vehicles back in this area back beyond right beyond where our, our truck is there um, if you see that sign right there it's that's what it says it says no vehicles beyond this point hi I, I know there's been cars here but I don't know what for there's a fire here Yeah, someone's had a fire here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that truck was doing back in here. It could be workers, state workers, I don't know. You know, forestry workers. Who knows? Yeah. This would be a great spot. This would be a cool campsite here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And here. Put the tent up right there in the shade. Yeah. 
เวลาเนื้อหางลงบนสุดยอดเราจะหาสถานที่ที่เราสามารถเดินออกไปแล้วก็ไปแคมป์ซึ่งเป็นที่ที่ใหญ่ที่สุดในประเทศเราสามารถทำได้ถ้าเราไม่มีต้นไม้ที่เราจะเห็นเขาเก็บต้นไม้ออกมาจากต้นไม้ของเราแล้วเราก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรกับมันแล้วก็ไปทำอะไรก
going on, but she was smiling real big. <laughs> I said, next weekend. <laughs> Yeah, we don't care if it's a pay site or whatever, but I'd like to just like get back in a place like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> These roads are in a car, you have to be real careful. We're in a truck, so we're a little higher, but a car, some of these, these roads are really, portions of this road is really, really bad out there here. Yeah, there's some places back in there that you can take your four-wheel drive and go four-wheeling. Look at this one. Oh, he's a Jeep. He's invincible. At least so they think. Speeding. I think it says 15 on this road. I don't care. It's so damn when he starts replacing the ball joints and bushings and wheel bearings and shit like that. That's what people think. I got a cheap I can go in That's not true. Okay, guys. We came to Coney Island. It's not the one we usually go to. No. But this is a new one, so we thought we'd give it a shot and see if they're as good as the other one. Uh, the other one's still open. So. There's no park right there. Instead of Parking on. Yeah. There's the sign. That tractor there. <laughs> We're going to have to check that tractor out and this tractor okay guys check this thing out man isn't that cool looking <laughs> this this thing is wild it's got the original engine but they got it a blower sitting on top of it big old headers makes it Look like it's got a Hemi, but it don't. You can see it's got the original four-cylinder engine in it. It's a Massey Harris. But I'll bet you I could get that old engine running. But that's pretty cool the way they set that up there. It looks like it's a big blower tractor, but it's not. But that's cool, though. I love old tractors, man. Pretty neat. <laughs> cool, huh?
Okay guys, so we got the sorry had to overdub the last clips because they were playing music inside, so that's okay. So I got this one. It's just Coney sauce with onions. Monkey got this. What is it, Monk? And she got the onion rings, and I got the chili cheese fries. Mm -hmm. Chicago. Chicago, that's right. Chicago, Chicago, that tumbling town. That's what she got, the Chicago style. So I seen the sign in there that said, be a wise guy. Order the Chicago or whatever, oh, so yeah. you're a wise guy. I'm a wise guy. You're a wise guy. And I'm just, you know, plain old Shea Bear here with my foot long. Coney dog. Mm -hmm. I still like the other one better, but it's cool. Yeah. So, because Elvis ate at the other one, supposedly. Right. Yeah, we don't know for sure, but. Well, I think I don't think they would advertise. They say when he was filming that movie, which I still need to do that video of the uh, the filming locations. Right. So. Um, of the movie he filmed down here, but supposedly he ate there, so. Um, yeah, I think he did. He might have. Okay, guys. Thought I'd bring you around here. Let me show you my type of equipment here, which is a formal. That's right, International Formal. If it ain't red, Leave it in the shed. Now, I grew up on a 1947 Farmall A. It didn't have what we call, this is the tricycle front end. It didn't have the tricycle front end on it. It did eventually, because one time it rolled down the hill and hit the back of my uncle's truck, knocked the front end out of it. So, we had an old combine we were cutting up. And we took the steering unit, which was a tricycle front end, and we mounted it on the front of that old farm on. There's a power takeoff right there. There's also, this is also a power takeoff. This is what would you would put your belt around, a big gigantic belt that would run a sawmill or you know something like that. And this tractor is complete. I bet it wouldn't take much to get it running. Love these old tractors, man. Up here. That's for the crank start. It's apparently broke, but ours went right through here for the old crank. I bet this thing still runs. But this is probably the fate of it. Now, our crank, we had a, a spot for the cranks. This is a bigger tractor than the Formula A. Our crank would had a clips and it clipped and sat right down in here. Cool. Yeah, these these old tractors are awesome, man. This is the starter. You would pull back on that right here, and that would engage the solenoid right there on the starter, and that's what would start it. This is the choke. Whoops. There's the throttle up there. This thing is cool. This is just called a draw bar. Now this one, as well as ours, did not have a lift. What we call a three-point hydraulic lift. This one doesn't have one either. Now ours had the draw bar, which was very similar to that. We used to stand on it when we was kids, like this while Dad was driving, until I was old enough to drive it myself, which was about 10 or 11 years old. So and uh, 
ours had a, a belly mower under it. Um, it didn't have it on it from what I can ever remember, but it used to have when they first got it. Oh, it's great, thanks. That's what we like to do. Awesome. And, uh, but I know at one time it did have a belly mower under it. It still had the thing up here to, to raise and lower the belly mower, so. Pretty cool. This is your governor. That keeps it from running wide open, which my uncle would unhook when he was younger, really young. Uh, he would unhook it. There was, it was four miles from town, and he would unhook the governor and that tractor run like 35, 40 miles an hour and he would unhook the governor and drive the tractor into town. Now, from the time I can remember up until I was probably 12, um, we had steel wheels on ours and then we ended up putting the uh, rubber tires back on it. And um, when, we, when we did that, we put, filled it up with water and antifreeze to weight them down. Now these these wheels, as you can see, there's, there's a keyway there. Now these, you could jack this thing up, and you could slide these wheels out farther on the axle, and that would give you a wider stance, so it wouldn't tip over on you. So yeah, these things are were pretty cool. I'll have another one someday, huh, Mama? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're back home. Uh, been on for a little bit. I've been on the computer trying to find some campsites for next weekend and man It's near impossible There's four or five right right in our area within five to ten minutes drive from us And they're really primitive no electric no water none of that just what we're looking for and They're just absolutely closed Not for hunting just freaking closed. I mean and then some of the other places, it's just, you know, you put in the date you want, and it's just because they're only running so much capacity, you know, that there's nothing available. If you don't go, if you don't res reserve two to three weeks in advance, you know, you're pretty much screwed. I mean, last weekend, you know, I reserved that one two weeks before, you know. Well, that would have been the second, you know, weekend because I couldn't get one for the next weekend. So, man, it's just, it's unreal, you know, what's going on when you can't even go, go camping. I mean, you know, that's pretty much, I mean, you can go into Walmart and there'll be 200 people in there pushing, shoving each other, walking past each other, no masks. That's okay, but you can't go out in the woods. No, don't do that. That's where you're going to get sick. Bullshit. I mean, damn, you know, campsites are farther than six feet apart, you know. And, I mean, come on. I mean, most of the restaurant and bars around here are running full capacity. You can sit right next to somebody. But camping? I mean, just don't make sense. Doesn't make sense. I mean... How can this this thing be over, you know, for restaurants and bars, but you can't go, go out in the wilderness where it's a lot safer, you know? I mean, that's the safest place. You're not just going, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't understand it. You can go into the restaurant and sit right beside somebody, but they don't want you camping when you're well over six feet apart. I mean, you know it's crazy so that's all I'm doing so that was my little vlog for today hope you enjoyed the tractors um, but you know it's just uh, just one of them things I, I I don't get it I don't understand I I don't know I don't know what's going on but I mean it's a lot safer to be out camping than it is walking through Walmart you know I mean damn come on <laughs> You know, they're all running full capacity, but the campgrounds are still only running, what, 50% capacity, if that. It's crazy, man. And like all the group camping, okay, you can't get group sites at all. 
Um, where we stayed at last weekend, that site across the road from us was a group camp campsite, and somehow they reserved that. Somehow they got in that. But I mean, to close a whole campground, it's weird. It is weird, man. All the free ones are out. It's out. I think maybe we'll just find a place just to just to go and, and pitch the tent out in the you know out in the forest or something you know I mean damn this is getting nuts it's worse now than it was you know when everything was real bad it's worse now than it was then really weird so we're gonna take the boat out tomorrow go cruise around the lake for a little bit and you know but I don't know we'll see what what we can do um, I mean it doesn't start getting cold till around the end of December here so I'm figuring we still got well we only really got two weekends left in this month we got November and then part of December but it's hard to to gauge camping when you know when you're like three weeks ahead, especially if you're tent camping, it's hard to gauge because of the weather, you know, so unpredictable right now. We're in the fall, you know, it's it's hard to say, you know, what the weather's going to do for you, you know. I mean, who wants to pay, you know, 60, 70 bucks for two nights when really all you're going to do is hang out in the tent, you know, or sit in the truck. Hell, I could do that here. <laughs> You know, so, you know what I mean? If you're already there and it starts raining, cool. That's just part of the experience. But, man, you know, you book it and you pay it. And, you know, you can't cancel on most of these places. Well, you can. You just, you know, you know, most of them, they're not going to give you a refund. You know, they're going to say, well, they can't help the weather, which is true. But, man, I mean, like I said, then, you know you're loading the truck to go it's raining you're trying to set the tent up in the rain you're trying to you know you can't cook out in the rain because you can't have a fire because the rain puts your fire out so you know what do you do you got to go into the nearest store you got to buy sandwiches because you can't cook anything which is to me is part of it you know fishing in the rain that gets miserable if it starts a downpour you know what I mean then you're tearing the tent down in the rain then you get it back it's soaking wet and it's all rolled up and you got to take it out and try to wait on it to quit raining to dry before it mildews and gets musty and moldy and all that so you know it's kind of hard to gauge you know it's like I don't know down here like tent campers are frowned upon you know I'm used to being up north in Ohio where you know that's what most everybody likes to do is tent camp down here it's all rv resorts some tent camping and then they they kind of treat you like shit you know because you have a tent and not a million dollar rv you know you ain't worth the shit is, is kind of the way they treat you down here most of these places that's why we like to try to find these reserves and stuff and oh there's one within 10 minute drive of here it's free but it's closed it is closed <laughs> doesn't say when it's going to open or anything like that and you know I don't know weird you know but anyway guys so hope you enjoyed the little vlog today and like I said it was a beautiful day it's breezy right now it's nice and cool out here it's not too hot got a little warm today but it was very manageable uh, there are some clouds in the sky I see now. I don't know if it's supposed to rain more or not So I might have to cover that boat up just in case Just in case we get some rain, but um anyway guys That's it in a nutshell. So hope you enjoyed the video and um, We'll see what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm sure if anything, maybe I'll do some vlogging tomorrow or something let you know what's happening and See what we found out. So, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, gone for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Y'all have fun. Stay safe. Be cool. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.